Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading and this is your May the 8th and May the 9th of 2020. This is for Gemini Ascendant, Moon Rising and Venus Placement on their chart. Jupiter may also rest in this list to reading. Cross Watchers are always welcome. So Cross Watchers, if I describe someone here and you know that it is not you, then it's not you, okay? We got to talk because cross watchers are more interactive, more um, reactive, if that's the word, um, to the readings more than the owner of the readings, more than the zodiac owner of the readings. So if I describe someone here and you know that it is not you. Please, it's not you. Don't put yourself into someone else's character, especially if it's not you. Okay, I don't know you personally, and I have no means of attacking any person. Um, I'm just being true to the reading. You know yourself better, okay? So for those new in this channel, you might want to consider subscribing, for I am always hosting a party online. What I mean by that is when I do live stream, you can ask me questions on the live stream and that will be free of charge on the live stream. I have to be, um, I have to be very, very clear on that. So Gemini, if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, then come back to this reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, then still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. So Gemini, let's start with your reading, shall we? So Gemini, Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot. You might be connecting with a Cancer or has a cancer placement on your chart, on their chart, or you have a cancer placement on your chart, that only makes sense. Because right after Gemini, cancer, right? Cancer is the next. So you're working hard here, probably to buy a new car. That's what's on your mind. You're also working hard probably because of travel, okay? You wanna travel right after this global pandemic but or is someone here traveled because of I mean to have more coins to have more um, pentacles but two of ones is here so someone probably is in the verge of going back home or in a crossroad of going back home or staying not confusion okay this person's probably be in I mean in a situation well I can see here let's put it this way since this is the May the 8th and May the 9th you may be in a global pandemic situation here and there is no more um, ways of how to earn money and you want to go back to your roots I can see it here okay I know I don't have to go to that, but my guys are telling me to say it though. But you're you're thinking of it. It's either you or the other person. You're thinking very thoroughly about it. If you want to go back, if you want to, you know, say, if you want to go back or you want to stay to wherever you are right now. Um, hi, friend. You may be. You might be connecting with a Taurus or has a Taurus placement on their chart, but this is more of a traditional, okay? Traditional in a way that you might wanna, someone might might wanna go back to their roots and because this is a travel card, right? So you wanna go back to the roots. You're thinking about it. Um, there might be something in your past or in your original place where you lived at where you were born that's waiting for you there see 
Okay, this might be, this is a praying card. Um, in the traditional tarot, four of swords are praying, laying down. But no, here it's kind of like defensive, um, active. Four of swords, a page of swords are commitment, um, contract rather. So, there might be someone's waiting for you that you want to get married to on a specific place far away from you. So you're working hard to go back to that place. It's either you or the other person, okay? Someone here is far from the other, wanted to go back and get married. But as of the moment, there are options. And I am not seeing a third party yet. Okay, I'm not seeing a third party yet. But this is more of the job because of the, the um, eight of coins here. Someone is also looking at you far from where they at. So this is a depiction that this is a long distance relationship. Long distance, when I say long distance, it could be physical or it could be, you may be living in the same roof, right? But in, this, in that same roof, your energy is far from each other, say. Um, you, you know the saying, you're so near yet so far, kind of? Yeah, that's, that's kind of the feeling. You may be living in the same city, but so there you go. This person missed you, missing you, or you're missing someone, and you're gonna come running fast after them. This is a nostalgia card, all right? So this is strong depiction. This this is a long distance, long distance in my term, not on uh, on my term, which means the one that I said could be literal, or you may be living in the same roof. However, someone misses the other, someone missing you, someone is, you know, try. Um, thinking always about you and want to get married this person is praying that he can go back home he can go back to you so that he can he or she can marry you. a strong depiction of someone's going back um so this connection is going to a calmer water now if there's a disagreement this person is i um, mean will find out that you are the person and they want to marry and want to go back to you uh, four of Wands here is a strong depiction of a marriage card. This is a foundation. Um, stability. And this only matches the Page of Swords. Stability, contract. Someone wants to marry you. Someone has a huge amount of love to you. Is it just the cup that's huge? I don't know. Probably you know the answer. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. I want to know this. I'm about to sing. I want to know what love is. And two, I want you to show me. There you go. Two of Wands is here. I want to feel what love is. And I can't stop. I just can't stop loving you. I don't know where it's leading to, but you might be connecting with a Sagittarius or has a Sagittarius placement on their chart. This person is patiently actually thinking about this for quite a while now. And his he or she is doing it right now. Your Jamani love. And no one can stop this person from doing so. It's here. I'm not lying. I have to stay true. This person will gonna marry you for the rest of his life. Say yes, say yes, cause I need to know. Comment down below if you're gonna get married, okay? But this person is really wanted to. Stability and the marriage card. So, I wanna get one more. I want to spoil you. Page of Cups. There you go. See? It's either... I think this is you who gonna... Because this connection is kind of like, you know... Far 
far from each other and you're, I mean, you've been waiting for so long. This person really wanted to give a cup to you. Is it you who is gonna balance this out? Let me know. So this is your reading, okay? This is your reading, Gemini. So if you want to go in depth with this, you can contact me at babaylandtv.gmail.com. If you resonate with this, click the subscribe button. Smash that notification bell and comment down below. I'm very interactive. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you in the next reading. Goodbye. I dream I know Deep up my feelings feel Watch them grow